on guys so today we're gonna be getting some carp and we actually are gonna get some carp today because I can see a ton of them already so we got the bow fishing rig here I'm just gonna set that up I'm definitely gonna get one and show you guys how to eat it oh yeah skin it I've heard they're really tasty put your legs like this and you're gonna crank it this is a 65 pound bow I believe you don't need that much when you're when you're just bow fishing you need a lighter lighter pull but it also it, does, it can't hurt to have more there we go let's go get some so first I took a little scout down here and I just saw little fins going around I saw at least like 10 carp and they're pretty close to the shore difficult way to go. Make sure you're quiet when you're going up to get these. I'm just kidding. They can't hear you, but they can hear the vibrations from your feet, so try to walk like really silent. Yeah. There's some carp right there. They're just hanging out. See that? There's one hanging out right there. It keeps coming up. And they're all along the bank. Oh, there's one right there. It's just cruising. So when you're shooting these, because of refraction, you're gonna need to shoot below it because the object looks higher up than it is. So make sure you do that. Ah, and I lost my arrow. <gasps> no! <laughs> Dude, I, don't, I, don't, I literally don't think I'm able to get that back. That was my only arrow, <laughs> so we are going to have to go get them. You know what's funny is that we I know you're not going to find this arrow. Dude, don't say that. Well, that arrow's gone, so what we're going to do, you can't let that defeat you. You still got to eat. All right, so I'm dressing up because I'm gonna have to go back in public. We're gonna have to go get another arrow and come, come back. Look at the Oh, yeah. oh, he sliced my finger. <laughs> Be careful when you're trying to kill him. Dude, he's huge. Check out this guy. We're gonna go cook him up for you guys. Get a good meal out of him. Bleeding nicely. The fish hit my knife and sliced my finger. What was your knife that cut you? Yeah, no. KG's taking this. Taking a shot now. Get some more. They got some razor spikes right here, and these are literally like saws. Yeah, don't just blindly grab them like he just did. I'm just kidding. Dude, he got smacked in the head. He's still alive though, isn't he? Yeah. His eyes are gone. We're gonna... We might not. Let's just let him go. Yeah, we're gonna let this bad boy go. Little mud fish. I wouldn't eat him. He looks kind of diseased. Oh, that's... Oh, 
these are barbed. They're barbed fins. That's what it is, and they can go pretty deep. It runs the whole length. Okay, let's go koala grills. Yeah. You got them right through the gills. Good shot. Good shot. There we go. We'll put them in trash bags and we'll go to, to our camp spot. Let's go head first. You got blood all over your jeans. I know. Now you got some more. Let's get gills are breaking up. Perfect. No, no plane. Watch the, uh, we're gonna scale the fish down here where this creek is. A lot of meat. Woo. I'm just gonna grab the tail. See, it just comes off like that. Just go all the way down it. Just keep coming back. Not too hard. Ooh, that sprayed up all over my face. <laughs> Alright, most of them were off. So we're just gonna rinse them off today. Try not to let them escape. If they escape at this point, we have a problem. Now I'm just gonna gut them out. So when we cook them, all the intestines don't cook into the food. Try not to go too deep cutting all the intestines, it'll just get all over it. All this, just reach your hands in there and just pull them out. There's a little air box. That's what helps them float. Yep. See? Popped it. <laughs> and uh, tons of other stuff will eat this too. Now just get all the last little bit out of there and we'll wash them out. And now everything on this fish right here, you can eat. Everything's out of him. He's good to throw on a fire or some coals. Oh, yeah. Good to go. All right, we found a pretty good spot. We're just gonna start building a huge fire to get the coals ready. There we go. We're gonna try to make a spit to cook the fish over. Ooh. <laughs> exactly what I was thinking. Beautiful. <laughs> it wants to go through. It is so close. There, there we go. Ouch, dude. Mm -hmm. Oh, that looks tasty. You want to take a raw test test here? What if I just... <laughs> oh, yeah. He's real high up. Uh, yeah, he is kind of high up. We'll just throw the other one right on the coals down there. I feel like it's leaving. Oh, you don't want to cook that in there. They are definitely one of the most easy fish to get if you're in the wild, say, if you had a spear or anything. So they're more realistic that you're going to eat one of these opposed to bass. It's just caramelizing. It's like an obstacle course. Right, I'm flip it now. Ow. It smells like fish. What a surprise. 
There we go. Look at that. Get a little Marshall. It's good. It should be cooked more, but. All right, seeing how well that one's cooking just on the coals, it's not completely burning it. We're gonna go ahead and put this one on the coals too. There we go. We are getting there. We're on the homeward stretch. Try to keep the direct flames off of them. You know fish is done when it just flakes off like that. Comes right off. So. Definitely done, we are about it. Look at that. Comes right off. How's it taste? Not bad at all. Does it taste like a like a just a white fish, like top? Yeah, it really doesn't taste like musk or anything. I'm gonna eat some more. Everyone says these taste like dirt and stuff. I don't know. I don't know why. But. There's no seasoning either way. Cause this is gonna how you're actually gonna have to taste it. Does it taste musky or like a snake? No, not like a snake. It tastes it tastes like almost like kind of wet. Like I, not the actual meat, but the texture. I think it I love the zoom. There's a lot of bone in this. Yeah. A lot of the good meat's supposed to be behind the head. Let me get that skin off. See, the skin took all the burning. <sighs> Back me right here, this should be some of the best. I could live off this for a long time. Don't listen to what everyone says. They say something's really gross. You gotta go try it for yourself because you can never trust anyone but yourself. Hell yeah. This 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 tastes really good. Don't hate I will it till you try it. Definitely be eating again. Yeah. I'm getting really full. So this stuff is good though. I definitely advise you going out and trying to get some carp. It's legal almost in every state. It's a good source of food and a good time too. Hey, do you want this banana? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Damn.